Right, put the bit at the beginning, bit at the middle, and that, that end bit, yeah? Okay, cool. All right, ready to film. <laughs> Greetings, my little lovelies. I hope I find you all well again, and as usual, feeling tickety-boo. Now, we've been sent in a couple of stories here at Weird World. Um, the first story you're going to see has been sent in by a lady called April. We'd like to thank April for sending in her story, and the checks in the post, my dear. Now, let's have a little look at April's story. I wasn't sure if reincarnation was real until this strange thing happened. One time when my sister came to visit for holidays, I decided to tell her about a strange dream that I'd had, just because it was so weird. I told her that in the dream, her and I were brothers, me being two years younger than her. In this life, the one we're living now, I am two years older than her, and we were soldiers in the Confederate Army. We had left the army for some reason and had met up with my brother's fiancée, a pretty young woman with lovely blonde hair. She was very much in love with him, but I knew that my brother was having doubts about marrying her, and I remember thinking that I really hoped he would change his mind because I liked her and thought she was very nice. As I told my sister about this dream, her eyes got bigger and bigger until she said, you're not going to believe this, but I had the exact same dream about two years ago. And then she went on to tell me some things about the dream that I didn't know, such as the real reasons she had been considering not marrying the fiancé. She said she remembered us travelling on foot, trying not to be seen, because we were not supposed to be leaving the army. I hadn't told her how the dream ended, with me being shot. And so I asked her, do you remember what happened to me after we crossed a field and we were climbing over a fence? And she said, yes, I do remember that you got shot in the leg. I told her that I think I died from that and she said she sort of remembers me dying from it also. I told her that I have a birthmark on my leg, the size of a bullet in the exact same place in my dream where I got shot. I said, I wonder if this is evidence of reincarnation. She laughed because she absolutely does not believe in reincarnation, but does admit that it's as freaky as heck and we will both have the same dream about us being brothers. April goes on to say, thanks for listening. Welcome back my little lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks again to April for being so kind in letting us use it, nice one. Now, reincarnation, we've touched on it before, and the following story is also going to continue on that theme. It's been sent in by a lady called Jane, so let's have a little look at it, shall we? I was a man in a war, being a scout or warrior. It was in Vietnam before the USA was there, it was around 1957 to 1958. When I was younger, I could even speak and understand some of the Vietnamese language. Not anymore, though. But under hypnosis, I was back there, and I cried for some three hours because it was all so horrible. I could smell the smells again, feel the agony of watching a brother being tortured as we were prisoners of war until we escaped. I remember his name was Michael. A helicopter was waiting to pick us up. On our way there, we were killed. I saw Michael die first, and then I got killed when I went back to get him. To this day, I have a strong, you don't leave a brother behind thing in me. That were the most intense things for me while under hypnosis. This is things in a tiny nutshell. I do have memories from time to time before we were prisoners too. I remember a lot of details before, though only under hypnosis I was like back there. After this, I could find more peace in my life. I never regretted going under hypnosis. It explained a lot of feelings that I could not place 
anyway before. Much love to you, Julian. Welcome back again, my little lovelies. Seem to be saying that a lot today, don't I? Anyway, thank you to April and Jane for being so kind in sending in their stories. Very much appreciated. Now, while I'm on the subject, if any of you guys have got any stories along the same sort of lines, send them in. And you never know, you might have lovely little me narrating your little story. Now, how marvellous would that be? Now, I'm going to wrap it up for today because it is still the school holidays and I am pushing my luck here with this video. So, three, two, one. Ta-ta, my little lovelies. Ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. -ta 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 -ta.